Yerivim, Perik Vav, Mishnah, Gimel. Okay, so in the past Mishnayot, we've discussed that if you live in a Chatzer, just in the Chatzer, and uh, let's say this guy decided he didn't participate in the Eru, then the whole Chatzer is, is, is Asur to them. Why? Because Asur to them. They can't use the Chatzer on Shabbat. Because even though they made the Eru, even though it's enclosed, it, it, there's one person's uh, area in the Chatzer that doesn't belong to them, so they can't carry. But then we also learned that if he was Mevatel, if he was a Mevatel, all of his whole house is like a guest to them, and therefore they could carry into his house, and, and 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 he could carry into their houses because he's Mevatel. My whole my whole uh, my whole area is not doesn't belong to me. It belongs to you guys, and, and, and that's okay if he's a Jew. We learn. What happens if he's Mevatel? So our Mishnah, the Kati explains, is going to discuss what happens if it's Mevatel, the common area, but not his house. Says the Mishnah, Anche Chatzer, Sheshachachad Mehem Below Eri. One guy forgot, and he didn't participate in the Eruv, okay? And we're going to talk about the case of, okay, that's what we said, he was mevatel his chatzer, okay? The portion of the chatzer that he has with them, okay? But he did not, was not mevatel his house. My house is mine, you can't come into my house, but my part of the chatzer, I don't care, Okay? Therefore, what's the halakha? The Mishnah says, Beito asur mi lahachnis umi lahotsi lo velahem. So he can't bring stuff in from his house into his house and, and out of the house because his house is a separate domain. It's my, my house. It's not public domain. Because remember, the whole point of an Arab is to say everything is, is mi'urav. Everything is mixed. Everything belongs to all of us. And therefore, we can carry it as, as if it's one Rishut HaYachid. But here we're saying, no, he's saying, no, my house is a Rishut. The rest of it is also a Rishut HaYachid. It's yours. So therefore, beito asum elachis um lehotzi lo ulahem. Both he and them cannot bring things into his house or out. Veshalahem mutarim lo ulahem. But their houses are mutar for him and for them because their houses are 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 considered part of the common reshut. Mishnah continues. Not nu lo reshutan. If they gave him reshut, not lo reshutan. Meaning he didn't give them reshut, but they gave him reshut. So the Bartimura, not nu lo heim rishut chatzeiram. If they said to him, okay, you guys can use, they said to him, you can use our 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 area in the common area. Who mutar lo hotzi mi bito lo chatzer? That he can bring stuff out from his house into the chatzer. Shachol rishuto, because remember he has permission to use the entire chatzer. Heim asurim afilu lo tital tel mi bito lo chatzer, and they are asur, okay, to take from his house into the chatzer, because he's not, they're not guests to him, he's guests to them. So not the low reshutan, if they gave him reshut to use their area, who mutar v'heim asuri. But hayushnayim, if there's two people in the chatzer who didn't give, who who who, uh, who didn't participate in the eruv, osrim zealzeh. Then each one, if two of them did but wasn't part of the eruv, then they are oser one on the other. Why? She'echad notein reshut v'notel reshut, because one person. Can give a shoot to the people in the Dior, in the, in the common area. I mean, if one of them uh, can, can give permission to them and take a shoot from them. But, Shnayim not nim shoot, two can give a shoot, the en not nim shoot, but they cannot take a shoot. This is because the Gemara explains that when you have, if you have one, per, one person, then, the, then, the, then the, the rest of the common area, the rest of the people in the common area could say, okay, you guys can use our shoot. But if there's two, then two of them retained ownership in the common chatzer. This is like an example. Imagine there were 20 people in this chatzer. And these two guys didn't give a shoot. So they said, no, I want my ownership in this common area. So no matter what, even if one of them is mevatel, the other one still says, I want ownership. And if this one is mevatel, the first one, the second guy says, I want ownership. So two guys cannot take a shoot from the entire common area. All they do, do is give a shoot to everybody else. So no matter what they do, okay, if they're shnaim, osrim uh, zelzeh, then neither one can use the common area if they're not participating in the area. Nowadays, we assume everyone wants to take part, part of the area, unless we know uh, explicitly that they don't, which would be a real problem. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, it's a particularly confusing Mishnah. You can email me at rspoker at gmail.com. Have a good day.